Welcome to the discussions on reasoning. Today we will discuss a section that's circular arrangements. What nobody can say that he is good at. The questions will be like this. P, Q, R, S, T, U, B and W are sitting around a circle facing the center. T is the second to the left of P and third to the right of V. S is the second to the right of W, who is on the immediate right of T. Q is the right, sorry, Q is the third to the right of U. Honestly, a question like this is tough. As I told from the very f in the first discussions that reasoning doesn't require mind. It's not related to education. It's techniques. So what I'm doing over here is I'm not using my mind. So, there are 8 people, I will just draw 8 marks, I will give 8 marks like this. Okay, I am going to the question, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B and W are sitting around a circle facing the center. T is second to the left of P. Here I go, T. This T you place always at the bottom here. T is second to the left of P. Now, why do I place it here? Because it's easy on my part. I'll think that this person is I am only. So when I'm looking at the center, you can see that exactly I'm sitting here and I'm looking at the center. So I'm able to know that this is right side, this is my left side. So T is second to the left of P. Think of how others are sitting. Think that you people are, you are sitting within your, with your friends to take some tea or coffee. So when here is a friend, this is his right side, this is his left side. This guy's right side is this, left side is this, right, left and so on. So T is second to the left of P. Obviously the P should be here so that this is his left side, this is the first left, this is the second left. And third to the, <coughs> excuse me, right of B. So obviously the B will be here, so that this is this person's right side is this one. So this is the first right, second right and this is the third right. S is the second to the right of W. Now, P T and V I have got. I haven't known anything about S and W. There are so many spaces. I won't touch this. Who is on the <coughs> excuse me? <coughs> who is on the immediate right of T? Now this who basically means this W. Now W is on the immediate right of T. Here I go. There is T already in the figure and here is a T. So I'll Say W is on the immediate right of T. So here is W. This the this is my right side. He's on my immediate right. I'll just go back. S is the second to the right of W. This person's right side is this. So S is second to the right of W. Okay. Okay. Q is the third to the right of U. Now. Where will I place the U? There are three spaces. <coughs> Q is the third to the right of U. Let me check here. If I'm placing U here, U's right side is this. Third to the right. One, two, three. No place is vacant. So here also, if I'll place U, these places are already filled. If I'm placing U here, one, two, three. W is already there. So I can't place. So this is the only option I'm left with. U. So Q is third to the right of you. One, two, three. Here is my queue. Now, all places are filled except one. So P, 
read the question p q r r is missing so here is r that's it the thing is once you're placing this the question will guide you and you can get the puzzle but if you're placing somewhere here you will be lost in the puzzle the puzzle forces you to be lost then there will be five questions who is next to you there could be five questions like that and all those questions answers are free to you who is next to you there it could be who is next to you and right side of you or left side of you who is not next to you and so on so you can just look at and you can tell the answers there will be options some p q r s t so who is next to you you'll just see the options whether b or s are there or not who is who is second to the right of p so you can see p second to the right of u is u so these all things will be free to you try doing some more questions like this i'm sure this time you'll get almost all the questions correct thanks for watching